menu displayed at the restaurant indicated that both thin and thick slices of pizza were available. The defendant states that the plaintiff caused such a commotion during the incident, including summoning the police, that her restaurant actually lost business. So let's watch now as Judge Wapner hears the testimony in this spicy dispute. I know you've been sworn, sir. I have read your complaint. Uh, you're asking for a refund of some money you paid for a pizza. You claim you didn't get the right kind of pizza? Yes, I am. All right. What did you order? I ordered a thick chicken pizza slice. Thick? Okay. And what did you get? <clears throat> what was handed to me was a thin pizza chicken slice, which I, which I did not take. Did not take? Which I didn't know. I, I refused to take it. Receive it, in other words. H had you already paid for it in advance? I paid for a thick chicken pizza slice. I understand, but you paid, you paid in advance yes, before I you did. got it. Yes. All right. Was there a menu there that indicated they had... The menu was on the marquee board, which is located just right outside the, of the establishment on the boardwalk. And it stated as being $3 for a thick p p chicken pizza slice. $3? Yes. How much... And you, you paid... Two I paid a total of $3.73. Three seventy-three. dollars 73 Yes. There is no p price on the cookie, so I presume that the cookie was around $0.73, cents, as the total was three seventy-three. dollars Well, you're suing for two forty-eight. dollars well, that was subtracting a dollar twenty-five of the cookie, which I did accept. Who'd you order from? Any of these people that are here? From the cashier, the young man that's next to the owner. Okay. You were there? Yeah, I was. Did he order a thick slice of pizza? Yeah, but we told him we. Wait a minute. Have... He did. Yes, he did. Okay. And what did you tell him? We told him that we do not have. No, we. I wasn't talking about I you. I told him yeah. that there's no thick pizza today. And he agreed, and he ordered a thin piece. Why do you think that he was asking for his money back then? When he got the thin pizza, did he ask for his money back? Yeah. What did you tell him then? I handed him over to my mother because I can't do anything about it. Okay. Did you then have a discussion with the plaintiff then? Yes, Your Honor. I came over and I talked to him and said, what seems to be the problem here? And he told me that he had ordered a thick slice, and I said, well, we don't have thick crust today. And uh, my son had already told him in advance, there's no thick. Well, you, you, did you hear your son say that? Uh, my son has told all the customers. No, ma'am, yes. ma'am. I asked you specifically, did you hear your son when he had this conversation with the plaintiff? For this particular slice? Yes. No, I didn't hear this particular conversation. Well, what's the cost of a, a thick uh, The slice? thick and the thin slices, Your Honor, are the same price. Same Three price? Dollars, yes. Therefore, we served him the very finest quality pizza, which I brought with me today as an example to show you what we served him. I would like to show you a piece of the pizza. Well, you can show I me. Made. I don't think it makes much difference. Uh, there is a difference between thick and thin slice, isn't there? Very little difference in the crust. But we served him a beautiful slice of pizza, which he immediately refused and immediately said, I'm going to take you to court and sue you because I work for a law firm and it won't cost me anything. And I was absolutely shocked. Did you tell her that? He no, I did. I explained to her that I did work for a law firm and that I would take her to court. As a lawyer? No, as a court messenger. When this man ordered his pizza, that chicken was cut specifically for him, for that one slice. It was made, it was given to him, and it was fresh, and it was beautiful. And he didn't even, I mean, he just immediately started in about, I'm going to take you to court. And I want my money, and I said, well, I'm sorry. I would be happy to give anyone their money back if I would ever serve something that wasn't, you know, suitable or high quality. If you could find something wrong, I'd be happy to. But it's like when you go and order a custom-made suit, and the person has their time and labor and materials into it. What did you do with the pizza? Well, it's not the same as a custom-made suit. Well, food. you know what I mean. <coughs> did, anyone else eat this pizza? did anyone else eat the piece, pizza? No, we, 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 what, he, went to, he summoned for the police, and he went from one window to another. He caused a huge commotion. He upset my customers. They were complaining because he was taking up my time. The register, he was taking up, you know, the cashier's time. He kept going back and forth. He wanted Wouldn't have been to easier then to just give him his $2.48? Well, it's or... the principle of the well, thing Well, I appreciate that. that you know, we have a business to run, and we have certain operating costs, and we put out, you know, we took this boneless chicken breast and cut it up for him because that's what he ordered. He did order a thick slice of pizza, correct? Yes. And, and you say you told him you didn't have thick slices that day. Yes. That's, excuse me, Your Honor, that's untrue. In fact, what he said 
was that after I explained to him that I wanted a thick order of chicken slice pizza and the cookie, he went back, he gave me the cookie, paid for the, I paid for the amount of the uh, two per items, and then he went and made a, made a request for the order, which I didn't hear what exactly what he had said, but at no time did he tell me at the window that he had no thick slices. Anyone else with you at the, at the window? Um, another person, but they're not here today because they have chicken pox. Okay. You the, are you the pizza maker? Mm -hmm. You make both thick and thin slices of pizza at the restaurant? We, we used to make thick, but we haven't made thick for a while because... Um, Is the, it on a menu or was it on the board? We took it off the menu. Was it on the but, board outside? Yeah, because the day he came there, we were still making it, but that day it wasn't made. We didn't have the thick yet. But it was still on the board. Right, but he wasn't... The reason that he must have been informed is because when everyone comes up to the window, if they order that, we have to tell them that there is no thick because obviously there's no thick to order. So, you know, the only when thing... When was the last to, time before that day that you made thick? Uh, probably like a week before that, yeah. Okay. Sir, you have something you want to tell me? I'm, I'm just the one that put the toppings on there. You know, I do the topping. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. You put the toppings on both thick and thin? Oh, uh, yes. On, you remember the last time you made thick pizza before uh, that day? No, I, I just started there about uh, a couple weeks before then, and uh, they didn't have it there. Okay. All right, we'll take a short recess. I'll come back and give you my decision. Well, how do you think Judge Wapner will decide this dispute? Will he find in favor of the customer, or will it be the pizza maker? We'll be back to find out in just a moment. Testimony paid three dollars for the pizza the rest was for a cookie which he did accept which he did eat the plaintiff ordered a, what he considered to be a he wanted a thick slice of this chicken pizza it was also on the board on the menu outside either the order taker didn't tell the plaintiff uh, about the fact that they weren't making a thick slice of pizza or the plaintiff didn't hear him say it because I can't imagine when the plaintiff gets this thin slice of pizza if he in fact, was told and heard it that there wasn't any thick pizza that day, why he wouldn't accept it. It wouldn't make any sense. He doesn't gain anything. All he wanted was his money back. He did, he, he's not asking for uh, a lawsuit to uh, punish the defendant in any way or to get any more than what he considered to be the cost of the pizza. So it doesn't make any sense. So I believe that he ordered the thick uh, pizza and he didn't get what he paid for. And therefore, he's entitled to a judgment for three dollars. So the plaintiff prevails. Judge Wapner awards the plaintiff three dollars. The defendant has just come out of the courtroom. I don't know. This is really something else. You know, there is that old slogan about the customer is always there right. Is, there you is, know that. There is. Was it worth going through all of this? Well. They said that apparently there was a misunderstanding of who heard what, but the point is, the person was told that we didn't have it that day. That is the truth, and we told the truth, and that's all. We can say nothing more than the truth. Okay. Is he welcome back in your establishment? Well, sure, why not? I mean, we have the best pizza. Anyone is welcome. I must no say, problem. it smells good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Officer Brell has a few documents for you to sign, and we appreciate that. Now the plaintiff is on his way out of the courtroom. Mr. Hall, I really can't help but think that a lot of people hearing about this lawsuit would say, this is the most stupid thing I've ever heard, file a lawsuit over a $2 piece of pizza. And you had to go to a lot of trouble to do this. Why? It's a matter of principle and legality. I felt that I was in the right. I wasn't rude. I'm a very serious person, especially when it comes to legal, legal facts. And I did go to that pizza place because they are the best that I felt on the boardwalk, and I still feel that they do make a good slice of pizza, and I had ordered the thick. Thanks Thank very you much. very much. And so the uh, plaintiff has prevailed, and that'll wrap it up for this slice-of-life case. The letter... Uh -huh.